Trayvon Walker going number one overall to the Jaguars last night. He was the first of five Georgia defensive players to go in the first round. It's just, it's next man up. It really is. And that's why in the offseason, you prepare well. That sets a record in the modern era of the NFL draft. And we have some returning players, but they're hungry as ever. People have asked the question, how does it feel to be hunted? We will not be hunted at the University of Georgia. I can promise you that. All eyes in the country want to see what the defending national champs are going to bring to bear this year. Right now, Georgia's defense in 2022 looks like it will be once again the best in the country. We'll come in and make the hit on the back straight up the gut. We run a reverse on the toss to McConkey. He fakes out two men and into the end zone. Far corner. Touchdown, Lat McConkey. Everybody turns around and looks at it, and it is intercepted, I think. Yeah. Georgia picked it off. Malachi Stark. The story for me in this one is how good Georgia still is. No. Bennett fakes and rolls out into the corner. Touchdown, Stetson Bennett. Boy, he had me fooled. That Georgia defense didn't rebuild, they just reloaded, and that's a scary proposition for college football. Stetson trying to avoid the rush, throws it up in the air, caught! Caught! Improvisational! Georgia's going to be a winner today, 49-3, to and the Ducks will waddle back to Eugene, Oregon with their tails between their flappers. Yeah, it still feels like it's been forever since we've had a home game. Uh, looking forward to getting back home. Um, our players love it, embrace it, you know, it's the one time. You get to play in front of your hometown crowd and uh, you embrace it and the traditions will be in between the hedges. A lot of cool things that our guys get to get back to. Hire's gonna run with each bubble the football. Pile at the 40. The ball came out of his hand. He had it with one hand. George has got the ball. Play fake. Benny gonna keep it. Roll to the right. Get inside the pylon. Touchdown. There it is. Stetson Bennett with the first. Touchdown of the game for Georgia. Play fake. Stetson throws it into the end zone. Caught by the freshman, Dylan Bell. Well, the machine keeps on rolling. 20 to nothing, dog. Remember, this is about us. This ain't about them. This is our love for each other. We are better together and we are connected. Stretches, handoff, McIntosh. Easy run into the end zone. Untouched at right guard. And Georgia goes to 2-0. The dogs have not given up a touchdown this season. Georgia wins it today, 33 to nothing, over the Sanford Bulldogs. And we are underway in the SEC opener for the Georgia Bulldogs. Hand off to McIntosh, run a reverse to Bowers. He's got the pitch, he's going far side, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, touchdown! Here's a play fake for Rattler. He drops back deep, throws in. He's picked off on the far sideline at the 15-yard line. Starts to the 50, to the 45, and knocked out of bounds. Bennett's going to pull it down and run. Breaks outside towards the goal line, reaches for the pylon. They just push him into the end zone. Touchdown, Kendall Milton. We talked about, you know, not, not treading water when we come in here. We're coming in here to be the attacker and to hunt and, and not be hunted. And, um, I thought our kids bought into that. Quick toss to Bowers. He's fighting in the corner. They say touchdown right on the left edge of the end zone. The number one ranked Bulldogs, the defending national champions, come in and spank the Gamecocks handily, 48 to 7. Georgia Bulldogs hosting the Kent State Golden Flash. Anywhere, anytime, any place, no matter the condition, we got to dominate, okay? And it's Bowers, just like Stitch talked about in the open. Just get him the football. There he goes. 75 yards. Watch out. It's blocked. And it goes back out of the end zone. Jalen Walker blocked it. Bowers already has one rushing touchdown. Make it two. Georgia beats Kent State today, 39-22. If this Missouri team gets any kind of momentum on their side, it, it can absolutely be a dogfight today. And a change of direction, but he lost the football. Tigers fall on, on the logo. To the outside, wide open. Touchdown, Tigers. Tyler Stevens. Another Georgia mistake. And the Tigers scoop it up. At halftime, nobody blinked, nobody questioned. 
it was the most together I've ever seen our team. And uh, the theme this entire week was do it for your brother and do it for each other. And I thought they hung tight and did that. Touchdown, Georgia. A plunge for Kendall Milton. But I'm proud of the way our guys played. And when we had to run it, it's about the only time we could run it when we had to. Edwards. Touchdown, Georgia, and number one finally has the lead. This is Edwards, and he's got the first down, and Georgia's going to escape mid-Missouri with a win. When we execute, we, we go down the field, you know, and we just got to execute. When you beat somebody physically in the SEC, it, especially somebody as physical as Auburn, it, I mean, it sets the tone for, for things ahead. McIntosh into the end zone, touchdown, Georgia. Uh, McConkey is going to try to return this one. He makes one man miss. Torrey sidewinding his way inside the 35. Keep it himself. Runs it right up the middle. Then an inside Auburn territory. He may be able to go inside the five. Touchdown, Georgia. Oh, my. We continue to grow and get better. This team has proven that it's resilient and tough. Uh, we've got a lot of things that we can clean up. Surveys the field's got time, and he's got wide open Rosamy Jack Saint. McIntosh makes the move. Touchdown, Georgia. I was certainly proud of our players to start fast, and uh, we got to play a lot of guys. And um, anytime you get a shutout, anytime you get them in yards, um, it's a positive, and uh, we got to play a lot of players. Takes it straight up the gut, and another touchdown for Kenny. What's well, Darnell Washington to just go up and just stab this ball? <laughs> Doesn't even bother with his left hand. Bennett, good ball, and it's another touchdown pass, this time to Dominic Blaylock. 55-0. Georgia beats Vanderbilt today. Dogs have proved to 7-0. legendary University of Georgia football coach and athletics director Vince Dooley has died. A statement from UGA says Dooley died peacefully this afternoon at his home with his wife and their four children at his side. After the Dogs National Championship in January, they were able to embrace each other. Dooley, of course, the last coach to win a national championship. So, so cool that Dooley could be there in Indianapolis this year. Think about what you've done to get here. Think about the work you've done to get this opportunity. They ain't no doubt in my mind this team is ready. You hit, you hit, you hit. From start to finish, you set the tone from the jump. Yes, sir. Snap back to Bennett. Give it to Edwards. He drives. Touchdown, I think. Yeah. Boy, the offensive line for Georgia right now. Florida, no chance. Even with all that size that the Gators have up front, the dogs have got them on skates. Play fake Bennett. Wants to throw. And, oh, back shoulder throw. Oh, my goodness. Caught Bowers off a tip. 40, 30, 20, 10. Touchdown, touchdown, Brock Bowers caught the tip. Florida tipped it, Bowers stayed with it, and Pater for the dog. Throws it quickly on a slant to McConkey, catches it between the hashes, and he gets to the goal line, touchdown. They have called it a, an interception as Florida caught a tip somewhere. It's a handoff, ETN breaks through the tackles at the line of scrimmage and walks into the end zone. And Xavier Henderson just right in front of the Georgia bench, sprinting down the near sideline. And the wheels are wobbly for Georgia right now. It's 28 to 19, and the point after try is coming up. Dejon takes the handoff. He fake left, drives right, shoots out of the gap, shoots out of the pile, Boy. and into the end zone for the touchdown. He shot out of the pile to the right. You know, to the Dooleys back home in Athens, I know they're together. Um, it meant a lot uh, for us to win that game for them. And, um, you know, all that Vince has meant to our university and such an ambassador of our program and really all of college football. Georgia 42, Florida 20, the Bulldogs are now 8-0, 5-0 in the SEC. We faced resiliency, stared it in the eye, and we didn't blink. And I'm really proud of our players. What was your message to the team this year, and essentially an elimination game this week? Well, hunt with a purpose. That's the biggest thing, is we want to go out and play aggressive. They're coming to our house. We want it to be crazy today. We want them to affect the game, and our guys know our best game's ahead of us. So we're hoping it's this one. Big Orange may be the darling in the moment, 
but the champs might remind them exactly who's that coming down the track. Going to air it out. Man out there, and it's caught. Arian Smith. Bennett, pressure coming. Got away from one man, and now he's going to tuck it and go with it. Got the first down, he might have the touchdown. Throwing his touchdown. Georgia did yesterday all they needed to do for me to take a step back and say, yeah, those, those are still the kings of college football. Doubt us against Kent State because we look sloppy. I know we almost went to Missouri and lost, but guess what? We're still the kings because our coaching staff and our defense shut down the most prolific offense in college football, and we did so quite easily. And it loads it, fires to the end zone, McConkey touchdown, one play. Six more points for Georgia. Out of the backfield and on the run. All the way down inside the 15. I don't know that I've ever, I just got a text from my wife. I've never seen our fans not leave the stadium like that, even when it rained. You know, Claude made a mention that the start of the second half, there wasn't an empty seat in the house other than the ones they purchased. And uh, our fans were elite today. We asked them to be. They responded. And uh, they get the second place vote because the players on this team bought in. Kirby Smart is right back to where a lot of his fans thought they would be. After a national championship and after a pretty good season, I, I, we can finally quit worrying about Stetson Bennett being able to handle them. Um, Glad breaking tackles. Glad may go. 40, 30, near sideline, foot race, 10, 5, touchdown, McConkey. That'll seal it. Touchdown, Kendall Milton. I look at it as an opportunity, and that's the outlook we've always had here. Is that we think we've got as good or better players than anybody in the country, and we control how we play. When you look in the mirror, you see yourself. Sometimes you see things you like. Sometimes you see things you don't like. And we had to look at it and see it. Fires and intercepted by Keeley Ringo. He got it all the way back almost to midfield for the dogs. And Bowers in the flat. And there's the oh, touchdown look. by Kenny McIntosh. He's done it either way. Different conditions call for different games, and you've got to be able to win any kind of game you're in. I think that it's about us being the attacker, us being the aggressive. We probably didn't start as fast today as we have in the past, but we're not going to start every game, you know, just uh, guns a blazing. And we had to respond to some adversity once again. And, uh, Deep one down the left sideline. Drops it in. There goes Kenny McIntosh. All in all, it's on to the next one. Uh, great regular season for this group. Uh, they've done everything that we've asked them to do. And uh, yeah, we get bigger from here. For you to be able to say, we're the champions of the Southeastern Conference, that means something. Now, you might be the champion of some of these other conferences and people are like, yes, and. But in college football especially, the fact that you can come out as a champion, that means something. You guys earned the right to be here today. Remember where it all started at? Where it all started at? Right here, guys, first of the season. This game's about those five guys that have been here a bunch. It's for them. Enough is enough. And today, it's about us and how we play. They'll try a field goal from the 22, and the Dogs block it! The ball is rolling dead at the four-yard line. The Dogs picked it up. They haven't blown a whistle. George is going to run for a touchdown. He waited until he knew nobody was watching him. Picks up the football, takes it to the house. What a turn of events. Everybody else goes to the right. We throw it to Bowers, catches it at the one, turns and scores. Touchdown, Georgia. The speed of Bowers immediately outflanks the LSU defense. It hit the helmet of Besh. It hit, it hit his helmet. That ball never touched the ground. 
heads up play there by Smile Munden. And it bounced right to Smile Munden, who is going to have an interception there. Georgia 50, LSU 30. 50 points is the most ever scored by the Eastern Division team in an SEC championship game. It's not about whether Georgia's as good as they were last year. It's about whether they're better than all the other teams around them in calendar year 2022. This year they have been. Nowhere to go. We're going to gobble him up with red shirts. One guy just picked him up off the turf and they blow the whistle. That was Jalen Carter. His feet were dangling up in the air. Carter had him picked up off the ground. And the clock hits zero, and Georgia is your 2022 SEC football champions. The final today from Atlanta, Bulldogs 50, LSU 30. No surprise here is Georgia the reigning national champion. You know, they go back, and they're the fourth different team to be a number one seed in the college yeah, football playoff. Typical number one team. They just got better as the year went on. Dealt with the pressure of being the defending champs. The offense, the defense gets a lot of the attention because of Kirby, but the offense this year juggernaut. Whoever matches up with them better get used to 12 personnel, running game, play action pass, and a quarterback to play with a chip on his shoulder. Why have you played well in big games? It's easy if you don't have a choice. And I'm not saying it's easy, but I think in that in that sense, it's, um, you know, there is no other option. In the top seat, Georgia Bulldogs earn the right to play close to home. The Ohio State Buckeyes get into this bracket via the back door when USC stumbled. That's a big subplot tonight. He said his message to this team was, why should Ohio State have an advantage? Because they lost their last game. This Georgia team will tell you they're motivated no matter what because of the comparisons to last year's championship team. Georgia rushes forward, but they get home. And a quick sack. Stroud fires deep down to the end zone, and it is grabbed in the end zone by Harrison for an Ohio State touchdown, 31 yards. We got him a couple times in that route. Ball quickly out. McIntosh knifing to the end zone. Touchdown, Georgia. Bennett, he's going to take this ball and run it into the corner of the end zone. Touchdown. He just ran it to the short side, leaps across right in front of the pylon. And we're a point away from being tied. Short toss goes out of Buka, right side, five-yard line. Touchdown in Mecca Buka as he catches the pass from C.J. Stroud. And Ohio State has increased their lead uh, 34-24 over Georgia. We talked halftime about some games we've been in this year. We've been behind him. I had no doubt that our team would come out fighting. Deep ball. Look at Arian Smith. That's going to be a touchdown. He caught it at the 30, 20, 10. They won't catch him. Touchdown! Touchdown! 76 yards! Snap it back to Stett. Here comes pressure. Throw it to McConkie. We got it! Two-point conversion right on the goal line. They hit it. Flushed again. He's got a lot of space. Right up the middle. CJ Stroud! Snap down. Kick is away. And it is good. Just got it in with a few feet to spare over the upright. He's got Kieris. Spins around. Makes the catch at the 22. They tackle him at the 15. In the final minute. Flushes to the end zone. Caught. Touchdown! D. Mitchell to put Ohio State in front. Snap, hold, kick. Eh, eh, eh. No, good, no, good. He missed it. Left. The bench explodes. It's midnight. Happy New Year. Georgia 42, Ohio State 41. Our guys are extremely resilient, and if we want any chance of winning a national championship, we have to play a lot better football than we played tonight. What a game. What a game. Good Lord. Wow. We will not be hunted at the University of Georgia. I can promise you that. And all those fans up there, they believe too. And they better be in Cali. It's opportunities like this that you can go take advantage of. Two words, man, all week. Strike and attack. And it don't change now. Today is about how we do it. We strike! We strike and attack! Bennett gonna fake it and all the way into the end zone. And Bennett has clear sailing 21 yards into the end zone for the first score of the game. They get it to one of the receivers. The ball comes out! He's stripped on the far side. Pile for the football. Georgia's got the ball. 
Edwards in the backfield. Play fake. Stet sets up to throw. Pressure coming on. Wide open. McConkey reaches up high. Touchdown. Touchdown, McConkey. Nobody near him. TCU. Hey. I, I mean, they got embarrassed so bad. I don't think those football players will show up for the rest of the semester. I really, really don't. I think, I, I, I think they don't. I think they're done for the school year. It's that bad. And then he throws it downfield. It's intercepted by Christopher Smith. Over the shoulder. Interception. No, it's Bullard. Bullard. That Brock Bowers guy, I draft him now. I mean, that kid is unbelievable. Number 19 in your program. Throws for the corner. Brock Bowers one-on-one. Caught. Touchdown. What uh, Kirby Smart has built in Georgia. And what he has built is a juggernaut. That's pretty, uh, what we call, certainly in the college football playoff era, unprecedented. There's McConkey. He got on his donkey and made a sliding catch in the right corner. Touchdown. Georgia on the logo, celebrating back-to-back Nats. Perfection wears red and black tonight. 15-0. The dogs have done it and won a second consecutive national title. Not once, but twice, 15 and 0. And you can't be any more impressive than the way they did it tonight. 65 to 7. The Bulldogs leave their most abrasive mark of the season. A lot of grit, uh, a lot of toughness, but the word we use around our place is connection. Every one of our guys know we stay connected, we're hard to beat. We were hard to beat tonight. That was as good a championship performance as we've seen in any sport in a long time and perhaps ever. Kirby, congratulations. Go dogs!